Hey everybody, Luke from Dimco Productions here again with another tutorial in the Adobe Master Collection. This time with Adobe Premiere Pro CS3, I will be teaching you how to do simple titles or uh, animated advanced titles in the program CS3. The first title I'm going to be showing you is a simple uh, just text on the screen kind of title and it can be done like this. You take your footage and you drag it into your timeline. I've just grabbed some footage from an old gun video I done. I've done. And as you see up here in the window, there's me holding my soft air pistol. Now, if I want to add some text to this window, like whoa or wham or bang or whatever, I fi I uh, scroll my cursor to whatever frame I want my text to come in at. So I want my text to come in about here. And once your cursor or your red line here is where it exactly needs to be. Head on up to your toolbar up at the top here, click Title, and it will bring down the drop down menu. The first option you receive is New Title, that's what you want to go to, and I use Default Role, and it works out pretty well so far. So click on Default Role, it'll ask you to name your title, I'm just going to name it Test for the current situation, and this window will pop up here. This window will show you the picture of the exact frame where your title will come, go in. To your left here, you'll see you have your title tools, uh, shapes you can make, pens. What you want to do is you want to click on the T up here, which is the type tool, and then go click on the picture wherever you want your type to go. I'm just going to type Dimco. And as you can see, already here, we've got some pretty funky fonts here. I'll drag it into the middle here. Below here, you have title styles. There's about 40 of them, maybe 50, I'm not sure and they're all different title styles and you just select the select your text up here and then click the title style and your text will change to that style. I personally like this style right here. So as you see it says Dimco, it's overlaid the video and that's how you do that. Once your text is where you want it, it's where you want it on the photograph, everything's good. You can adjust bold, italics, underline right up here on the top. Once everything's done, you can exit this window, and you'll see that your title is now in your project materials palette. So now you can drag that down into your video feed, into video 2 or video 3, or wherever you want your title to go. So that when you play it now, Dimco will also play as well, or whatever your title might say. If you would like a title uh, like opening credits with a black screen, that's very simple as well. I'm going to show you that now. Just have your screen black. Say if you had your gun video right here. Just find your cursor before. Do the same thing we just did, but have the cursor on a black screen. As you see, it's not in my video yet. So go to title, new title, default role, test two. Um, whatever you want it to say, uh, Dimco again I guess we'll go, but we'll go with it down in the bottom here, kind of an opening title kind of look, and then exit it because it's in place. Now, now what you want to do is you can drag it into where you want, and as you can see here, a black title for a while, and then it'll switch to the original title because my video overlaps right here. The title overlaps with the video. And that's how you do a black video uh, or a black screen text. If you want to get into more advanced, like if you want to display your production company like THX does, THX does and stuff, what I've done is I've gone into Adobe Photoshop and I've created my Dimco logo in a, as a Photoshop JPEG. So what I'm going to do now is I've got it imported here. It's this right here. I'm going to drag that into my timeline, so it says Dimco Productions, it's the uh, green and the white, I find it very appealing to the eye. And what I've already done is I went to uh, a special effects site and downloaded an explosion. I went to detonationfilms.com, it's this website right here. You can find the URL, it's, the URL is in the uh, description, detonationfilms.com, and I've downloaded their explosion pre-keyed. And with that, I can drag it right into the timeline here. And as you can see over here, there's a bit of an explosion going on. At the beginning, there's an advertisement, so I'm just going to get rid of that now. 
And the cool thing that I've done here is that when I play this video, it'll look like my words are exploding. So I'll bring it to the front of my video. And we'll go frame by frame now and watch the explosion get bigger and bigger. Now you see the explosion's pretty small, so we're just going to expand it here. That's the good that's the great thing about this program. It's just the things you can do with it are just amazing. So find a frame where your video is fully in golf. So right now all you can see is the explosion. You can't see my dim co-production, so I'm going to cut it right there and then delete it so that it's my title, the explosion starts, the explosion covers the words, and then there's nothing. So that when I play it, it looks like this. You know, Dimco Productions, explosion, Dimco Productions gone. And you can use that with your video. I give you full rights to it, because I'm pretty sure somebody's already done it, and I stole it from them. Uh, so that is basically how you do titles. If you have any other suggestions for other tutorials, please let me know. Either message me or uh, leave me a comment, and I'll try to get those up as soon as possible. Uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe to this video so I can know how you guys are liking my tutorials, uh, if I'm clear enough or if I'm not. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Have a good day from Dimco Productions.